Okay, the year is 2045. You are 55 years old and you are ready for retirement. And nothing wrong bring in the owe me back. The mama know about so trophy glad. So you decide to meet with a financial advisor. You go to his office and tell him you have $350,000 in your company 401k, you have $100,000 left to pay on your home, and roughly about $30,000 in other debt spread across your car, your boat, your credit cards, but not your student loans because you just finished paying those off last year at the young age of 54. That's a whole other video. So he does some number crunching on his calculator and determines that you will be making roughly $2,000 a month from your 401k if you were to retire today. Now, it's a little bit lower than what you were expecting, especially after working for the company for 20 plus years, but that's okay. You know that Social Security is gonna kick in at 62, which is probably gonna make you roughly another $1,800 per month. So if you were to retire today, you'd be making $2,000 a month, plus another 1,800 once you turn 62, for a grand total of $3,800 a month in retirement. Now, an obvious disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor and these were very loose calculations, so I highly recommend that you meet with a financial advisor to talk about this stuff. Most of them will do a retirement plan for you for free, so uh, definitely do it. Grand total, you're making $3,800 a month in retirement, which is the same as $45,600 per year. But let's take this a step further, because remember, we're in the year 2045. Oh, great Scott. One dollar today will roughly be worth 50 cents in 2045, meaning that that $3,800 that you're gonna be bringing in every month is actually gonna feel like $1,900 per month. Oh, I like it, but not a lot. I don't like it. The 2021 poverty line for a household of two people in the U.S. is $1,450 per month. Now at this point, you can't believe that you dedicated the last 20 plus years of your life to a job that you didn't really love, only to be able to retire slightly above the poverty line. Ouch. But Kevin, I'm totally fine with that. I don't need a luxurious lifestyle in retirement. I just want to spend time with my family and maybe go on one vacation a year. And if I have to pick up a part-time job to help meet the bills, then I am totally fine with that. And that's awesome. There is nothing wrong with that plan. But there is a high probability that you will have to have a part-time job in retirement and not have it because you want something to do or want something to fill your time. To me, retirement isn't an age, it's a financial number that if I could never work another day in my life, I would still be financially stable. Okay, Kevin, good luck making your $10 million. I hope YouTube pays well. Stop it, it's not that much money. Let's talk about the rule of 200. The rule of 200 says to take the monthly income that you want to be making in retirement and multiply it by 200. And that's the financial number that you need to be able to retire. So let's shoot a little high in this example. Let's say that you wanna be making $10,000 a month when you retire. Remember, you're probably gonna retire, let's say in this example, around 2050. So keep that in mind. $10,000 is only gonna feel like $5,000. So you take that $10,000 per month, you multiply it by 200, and you get a grand total of $2 million. That means that if you have $2 million invested at a 6% rate of return, you will make $10,000 a month without even touching the principal balance of the $2 million. You'll be making $10,000 a month on the interest alone. Guys, this changes the game because now retirement is no longer about an age, but a number. If I can hit this number by the time that I am 50, then I can retire at 50. Maybe I could hit that number by 45 and retire way early. So theoretically, what if you were 30 years old, you had nothing saved for retirement, and in your mind you wanted to retire by 60. You would need to figure out a way to save and invest $2 million over the next 30 years. Now. I just left my corporate job making $67,000 a year, 
And if I didn't spend a single penny over 30 years, I would have saved up $2,010,000. Nope. See, it is not the little guy cannot get ahead. This is ridiculous. Stop it. What did you do with your last raise? Did you buy a car? Did you buy a boat? Did you get a dog? Did you go on another vacation? Did you start eating out more? Did you start having more Starbucks? Is it to the point now where you're like, you know what? Man, it doesn't even really feel like I got a raise. Huh. Start with small changes. What if on your next pay raise, you took the difference and invested it? Every month, you didn't change your standard of living at all. You took the extra money and you invested. What if you start looking at ways to make a little bit of money on the side? And again, instead of buying something else, invest it. What if you're married and have two incomes? Can you guys look at your finances and say, man, we might have to cut back a little bit, but we could actually live on one income and invest an entire year's salary towards retirement. Don't get married just to have two incomes. That's dumb. What if instead of that new BMW, you got a used Honda CRV with 200,000 miles on it for a couple grand? Hi, can I get my CRV brought up, please? Each decision you make will slowly start chipping away at that 30 year timeline you have in your mind for retirement. Now, hear me out. What if you took a huge risk to drastically increase your income? while at the same time focusing on your personal finances to make sure that you are maximizing the amount of money that you are putting towards retirement. Do you think it'd be possible to cut 10 years off of that retirement and maybe retire at 50? What about cutting 15 years off? Retire at 45? How many articles have you seen of people retired early, maybe on CNBC or something like that? You're scrolling through Facebook and man, this another person is retired by the age of 45. You read the article and you see that they were some, you know, they had some high paying job or they ended up starting their own business and you start thinking to yourself, man, well, that's not for me. Why not? They made big moves and you can too. No matter what age you are, if you really buckled down and made some big sacrifices, you could retire in 15 years. Now, your financial number doesn't need to be 2 million. It can be 1.5, it can be 1 million. Use the rule of 200 to figure out exactly what you wanna be making and go for it. Now, I know all of that was very controversial, but at the very least, I hope I sparked some interest in your retirement planning, and again, Go talk to a financial advisor. They'll be able to set you straight. Thanks for watching. See you next time.